Hey, baby, no money. Thank you for joining me at Oshega 2023. Thanks for having me, man. I woke up today, I took a shower, and I realized I had like a, a literal pimple in my, pretty much my booty hole, so my, my ass hurts. Hold on a second. So is it, this is how we're going to do the breaking news? Will that be the headline? Yes, that is the headline. I think it definitely should be. Listen, man, so how's it been over here in Montreal 2023? Obviously coming over from Vancouver. It's been good. I was doing uh, state fairs in America. I love coming back to Canada, that's for sure. Um, I went to Larry's and I went to Fleur de Cado, uh, some Chinese restaurant in Chinatown. Fantastic restaurant. Both those restaurants rock. Um, Montreal is one of the best, is, is the best city in Canada. Just without question. It's Even just coming from Vancouver. 100%. I love Vancouver. Don't get me wrong, but the artistic pulse here is way, way more alive. For sure. Definitely a city of arts. Yeah. Now, speaking of fans and music, is it true that a fan actually got your name tattooed on their neck? Dude, uh, all the people who get their names tattooed of me, I always say why. But, I mean, I'm not going to tell them not to do it. But, yeah, there's a lot of people like, some girl got Baby No Money tattooed on her lip. That's insane. Do you, you got a photo of that? I do somewhere. Yeah, you saw. It. You had to see it. Yeah, it's it's, it's a ridiculous photo. Um, yeah, some guy got it, a neck tattoo going down. Like it didn't even. It looked fine, but. Do you feel pressure when somebody does that to respond or to, to like react in any way? No, I'm just like, props. Yeah, Don't that's think, true. I would have done it, but um, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a I'm a no tattoo guy right now, so I just like kind of like view tattoos as like. At this point, they're not like not lame, but it's like I just like I mean not having any tattoos is like having a tattoo. It's so, unique, right? Yeah, it's unique at this point. Like yeah. everyone has a tattoo. Uh, but yeah, don't don't get my name tattooed. If you do, like, I don't mind paying for it. I like that. I'm sure we'll get some uh, some takers on that for sure. Speaking of being unique in the rap game, man, I mean, obviously one of the most unique rappers out. And you you don't do the cliches of you know trying to do this the street aesthetic or anything. Talk to me about finding your own lane within the hip hop genre. I just like what I like. Yeah. That's that's it. I keep it very simple. I don't like. Yeah, I obviously try to take a little bit of inspiration from things that I like found find popular, but a lot of the time, like I don't really listen to music. So uh, a lot of the time, I'm just like booting up, listening to a bunch of like sounds, and I'm like, dude, that would sound sick. Like I was watching, I was cuddling some girl recently. It was it was a fine date. Good good vibes. Good vibes. And uh, we watched Holes, and then the beginning, it's like. Dig it up, on uh, on uh, dig, dig it up, on uh, on, uh. and then it's like a piano, it's like wah 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 wah, and I'm like, dude, that shit sounds fire. So Bars. I sampled it, I sampled it, and it's like if Gold Digger took acid and came out with a three times worse of a song. I made a song with it, but I don't know if I'll ever put it out because I would have to pay for a, a, yeah. all the royalties. But it kind of sounds like Gold Digger. Speaking on. Uh, some of the projects you have coming up, of course, a new collab with Young Gravy. Um, how would you describe Young Gravy in a few words for somebody who's never met him? He's a tall motherfucker. <laughs> this bed, he seems like a walking, like, acid trip. I mean, what's it like being with this dude working? He's just a good friend of mine at this point. So I don't, I don't like, view him as anything else. Uh, he's kind of a dickhead, too, but I'm a dickhead to him. Um... <laughs> Like, we get in arguments. We're, like, brothers at this point. Like, it's no, like, if I'm, like, dude, don't do that, then he's, like, oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes I'm, and then I'm doing something wrong. He's, I'm, like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. So it's, like, we're more than just, like, a business partnership at this point. Um, you know, that's, that's it. He's just a brother of mine, yeah. That close sort of vibe. Now, I saw you posted on Instagram that you had shot your shot with Demi Lovato. And uh, it didn't seem to go exactly your way. What could you tell us about that? Hey Demi, what's up? What's up, Demi? This my man right here. You know what I mean? We'll put him on. He's yep. putting me on right now. Put me on, dog, please. <laughs> I love that, man. Speaking of your performance, man, what can people come to expect uh, for the set coming up today? I'm doing something different, so uh, that's all I can tell you. Very cool. Lastly, man, obviously we love the drip. We always see you in some crazy styles. Have you ever had a stylist? And if not, how do you put these types of looks together? Once again, I just like what I like. I saw these pants yesterday at Essence, and I was like, I want those. That's it. Like, I, I, yeah, I'm just like a crazy person when it comes to the clothing, and I just, it's weird. Clothing can really make you feel confident. And when I'm like, 
at my peak confidence is typically when I'm wearing something I really, really like. Uh, I get a lot, I have a, I have a, a designer who makes pieces for me and I usually get on a call with her and like send her a bunch of ideas and we just go from there. So, uh, yeah, Julie, shout out, shout out, hi Jules. Shout out Jules. Speak, you know, going back to the beginning of your career, I'm curious, what's the wildest thing you've ever done to promote your music while you were coming up? I mean, spam girls on Tinder works. Tinder, that's a, that's a good way to promote. No, it's not. Thank Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. But, uh, look, everyone thinks I'm a bot on Tinder. I can't use those apps anymore. It kind of sucks. Yeah. Well, TikTok, you're doing good, though. Obviously, you're ki killing it with TikTok. Any advice for the TikTok game? Be yourself. Hey, man, that seems to be the moral of the story. Baby, no money. Thank yeah. you for your time, brother. We appreciate it. You. Hope you enjoyed this video from Oshega 2023. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and like for exclusive festival content all week.